All right, y'all, it's your girl, Jess Bree, back with part two of this lives, life, roast, comment, reaction, slash video. So let's get into it. Part two, take two, action. <laughs> Yo, if I repeat myself, I'm sorry. I'm getting a little tired, and I got to go to work in the morning, so I'm going to wrap this thing up. Um. Okay, so. I think a liar came on YouTube live to beg, but couldn't figure out a way to how to do it. <laughs> Look at this kid. <laughs> um, and the people seem to believe that Olivia is in her sister's basement. I say basement. I know they said bedroom, but I say basement. <laughs> or um, somebody said a fridge. <laughs> Fred said, Fred chat said, I guess the closet or the, the uh, shit, the closet, the cellar, <laughs> wherever she <laughs> It's been damn near three years. She has had several messages to ride, and yet he's the only person she wishes to speak on. She keeps saying she's healed and she's happy. Bish, no, you're not. You're very much so still stuck in the past and miserable. You couldn't pay me to sit up and talk about my baby daddy and his girlfriend all day. But want people to believe she has this new amazing man. Child, y'all better catch me up. Because I want to know. I mean, I haven't I haven't even fast forwarded through any of her lies. I watched a half of one through Fran. Um, so anyway. But it's the same old lies that she keep talking about. She got this man. And it's like, girl, she say she got a man. And then she say, well, but you know, I'm not. Basically, she breaks it off before before it even begins, allegedly. Because Lord knows. Um, Then the dummy gang keeps saying she's happy in Florida and Texas. She was miserable because Gerard didn't allow her to see the kids. And she said, first of all, first of all, I wish I had one of them memes where I could show the clapping hands. First of all, Gerard can't allow you to do shit or not allow you. Okay? It is a court order. So, talking about Gerard don't allow you to see the kids, ma'am. It's a court order. You have set days. Um, She has set days. She has set phone times. You know, so let's not act, act, not A-C-T, but act. Act like <laughs> Gerard is able to hold those kids um, hostage or something. Or 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 if you had a case in parental alienation, bitch, you would it wouldn't even be an issue. She need to go talk to the lead attorney. I need to see her on one of these other shows, um, trying to get some information. The lead attorney offers free legal advice. He deals with divorce cases. Shout out to him. He deals with um divorce cases, right? The lead attorney. Go check him out. He's an amazing, excellent African American lawyer, um, based in uh, or retired lawyer in Atlanta, Georgia. Okay, so that's where she need to go. And I want to see her. <laughs> I want to see her. I want to see her on Kendra G so bad. Yo, I'm about to put this in my title. I need her to make my wish come true because I need this bitch to go on Kendra G just so I can laugh my ass. <laughs> um, let's see. Okay, then the dummy gang. Okay, number one, she was allowed. She was allowed to see her kids every weekend, according to the court order. If she wanted more time, she should have acted like an adult and tried to cope here properly. But Gerard was simply following the court order. Again, that's like I said. Same thing I said. It's a court order. He can't not. He can't keep the kids from you. That's what the dummy gang don't understand. You know, the the order is what it is. And Gerard cannot, if he deviates from that lawyer or that order in a way, like say for instance, um, 
her scheduled day, you know, her scheduled um, visitation. Now, if you interferes with anything that's scheduled and written in order, that's one thing. But, bitch, other than that, I mean, you get your scheduled days, you call on your scheduled times. Your problem is, is you feel like he should uh, 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 deviate from the schedule just because you're the mother. Um, <laughs> but the thing is, you being the mother, you should have been able to, the, that should have been able to hold up a court, but obviously it didn't. It didn't. So now you are reduced to a weekend mom, every other weekend mom, and a, a summertime mom. I don't even think she gets them every weekend, right? I think there's, it's every other weekend. Four days, we're saying four days a month. Bitch. So, <clears throat> whatever, child. Um, the fact that you got reduced to that is like, it speaks volumes. I mean, her dummy gang don't even have a clue. They don't understand. And apparently, neither do she. You know, and the fact that he's not making, um... You know, that he's not uh, giving you a little extra time. Because if you have 50-50 custody, that shouldn't even be an issue, bitch. You, you know, I mean, you shouldn't need extra time if you got 50-50 custody. Um, but here you are whining about you can't see him this time the third. Because he's sticking to the schedule. But you seem to think because, oh, you're so past him. And, you know, now you just want to co-parent. Which, again, like I said, I don't necessarily believe she's in love with him. But Olivia is just like a petulant child. She wants things her way. And if she cannot control it, you know... She can't control herself. So, thank God she moves. I didn't want her to come to Texas in the first place. I prefer her to be a summertime mom. And maybe, you know, in a, every other uh, 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 every other holiday. Um, You know, and maybe every other birthday. I don't know how they work the birthdays out. Um, But I prefer her to do that. I prefer her to be, you know, and I said that a long time ago. Like, girl, just stay where you are, and 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 I, I really, if I'm, I'm the judge, I, I, I ain't really, girl. Two weeks out the summer, and maybe two weeks in the winter, but that's it. Anyway, cause the less influence, let the the best, the better. Honestly, because, you know, listen, ain't none of us perfect parents, but my God. And number two, they act as if she has this huge family. It's Stella, who don't have a home, and it was in Texas with you the entire time. And Raquel, who has her own husband and kids. Um. So, let's see. What could her plan be for the housing? At this point, no one likes being a guest at someone's house for too long. She owes landlords money in Florida. And listen, Florida, if no other state, do not play about your bad credit. They do not play. You hear me? Um. What was I going to say? Oh, yeah. Well, it'll be interesting to see how... She does this with the kids in the summertime. Um, uh, uh, piled up in her sister's house. We'll see how that go. She um, plus back child support and probably a fair at best credit score. There are no money down mortgages in Florida right now. It's a terrible time to invest. I'm stressed thinking about it. I know her blood pressure is high. See, I'm not good about this stuff. What does that mean? No money down mortgages. What does that mean? Okay, moving on. 
Facts on top of facts, a woman is delusional, a 32-year-old woman over her sister, <sighs> and has really convinced herself that they are the help. Girl, you were the damn weekend babysitter for them to go out. <laughs> right? Um... What is this? Wait, what is this? He left a short while after the Mamiana trip. When Ming blasted her by Maurice. The trip was in 2020. This journey bullshit is a money grab. Hoping she gets the views she got when she first started dragging Gerard. It will feel miserably. She doesn't think about her kids. Um, what? She doesn't think about her kids. And hearing their horrible shit about their dad. And whatever lies she says about them suffering. Leaving Gerard to answer their questions and add therapy to the schedule. She's trying to sell everybody else. Else is sold because hers ain't worth shit. I'm not a mother, but I just couldn't imagine doing that to my kids. This bitch is really crazy. Clearly from her latest live, she's putting off for someone and she's trying so hard to make it seem that she's one way when we all know how she really is. I don't understand how she hasn't been locked up and evaluated. I'm surprised the husband is allowing it. Sounds like she is more of a, uh, he is more of a hardcore that Gerada doesn't play. I would be creeped out to have a 400 pound sister in law in the back room talking to a screen all day and in between you hear moans and yelling while her baby is out on the couch with me with her crackish looking mom. Oh my goodness. Her followers are asking for different content and she said she would do it, but she needs to say certain things first and speak out. We know what that means. They better be prepared for more Gerard content for the rest of the year. So, what is this? Hmm. Oh, child. Whoever sat through that, they need some, um... They need a cash, uh, cash app. Liv has a lot of nerve and audacity, and this is exactly why she's going through what she's going through. She basically washed her hands of her own children. She seems more happier with male attention than seeing, talking, and getting some kind of visitation. If she has money to move like this constantly and stay dialed up, there is no excuse for her not having an attorney. You know, every time somebody bring up a damn attorney, attorney in her comment section, she scroll right past it. It does seem this move was more about shaking up things, and it failed. Probably turned out worse than expected. She did not go there with a good heart and to get her children back. If by any chance you are reading this, Liv, you are a sick woman, very delusional. You had three beautiful children, maybe four, but you had three beautiful children. You don't call them anymore. You don't visit, but you sit your funky behind on YouTube and blush over random men. Oh, boy. Let's see. Your beautiful black children will grow up to be somebody, and they will be successful and happy. They may or may not forgive you, but they will be okay. I'm glad they're in a two-parent household, and I hope right is being done by them. I wish them peace. Um, girl, you know she, um, you know she, listen, we all make mistakes, right? But, I don't know, it's pretty evident right here, like, that she is... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? What? That she is reevaluating her whole life. You know. Um, and she knows she fucked up. But, you know, she got to put up a front. And that's part of the reason why, you know, like when Jazz come on and Jazz will dry big 
wet bag. <laughs> and I, I've never, one thing I can say is I've never really seen her, at least not to the level that Jasmine does it. You know, she, I've never really seen her come on here and, you know, um, now I could be wrong because I'm not in a, a faithful watcher, but I've never really heard a reactor say she came on here and was dry begging. That's one thing you could say about this child here. She got enough ego slash, um something to not be on here doing you know doing shit like jazz rundown of the men a liar has hope with since her mirror said Jariah okay we had the Florida apartment man oh yeah they were talking about that on Yanni's life we had the Mexican drug runner the young dude she was wasn't the Mexican dude racist or some shit like he didn't like black people the young dude, she was going to fly out to Florida. The young one she met up with one night and got scared because of his neighborhood. <laughs> Brandon, the rotisserie chicken guy. Brandon's friend that, what? That she slept with while Brandon was in jail, allegedly. The new baby daddy had case so live. The dude from Target had him picking out Ryan's birthday gift. So that is eight men in a two to three year span. A life you had taken the same energy and enthusiasm of being a mother to being a mother. Your children they will still be in your primary care. You can't even be honest with yourself. I wish I was a fly on the wall in their courtroom. I know we got the court documents, but like I wanna know exactly what what ultimately led her to lose these kids. I just want to know. Um, <laughs> Brandon, the rotisserie guy. <laughs> Let's not forget the basketball player she recently mentioned. Clay, we was oh, Clay, we was gonna send a car. I don't know if fancy lives she living in, but it costs her everything with the clothes on. <laughs> and then you all drunk. Ah, what's, oh my God, wasn't there a guy on the pier or Boar Rock, or is he already listed? <laughs> Not even a corner shit, but all chicken rotisserie. Oh my God. Oh, and the man in Texas who had a charger, who she said she, she should have dated instead of Brandon. I believe that's the same guy Brandon kicked her door down behind, oh. What? I thought that was Gerard that kicked in the door or some shit. Oh my goodness. That's right. Damn, they're 10 men after marriage while married. Somebody else do the men before marriage, please. I've drained. Did y'all include the Dusty she was meeting up with in the parking lot during the live? She recently did looking like a prostitute. <laughs> yo, and I... Yo... I really think she do be trying. She do be meeting up with men. Like, initially, I was like, Liv, lying her ass. I mean, she lying. Don't get me wrong. But I do think she really do be out here calling herself going out on dates. <laughs> but I can't imagine. Wow. I can't imagine. I mean, are the dudes taking her to, like, out to eat? Or is she just, like, can you imagine? Like, she probably going to their house. They <laughs> house full of sweet, full of um, weed smoke. Stepping over uh, cockroaches and shit. Um, Because, you know, like, down south, you can't have shit around your house. Without a cockroach. Um, <laughs> you can't have a crumb. You can't. Uh, listen. You got to be uber super duper clean. Down south. Um, so you could just imagine. Um, what kind of guy she meeting up with. Can you imagine? 
<laughs> I can't so <laughs> I can't even yo when I tell you like the kind of guys that I've dated I mean she could never <laughs> she could never I mean from the homicide detective to the firefighter slash he was a firefighter and a substitute teacher um I mean what was it construction then my one got the one guy used to date he was a um I don't know what you call it an assessor uh he would travel for work um cause he lived in Ohio and he would come to my city he did like um not I don't know if you call it auditing of like the plant of plants and shit um this particular food plant <clears throat> he was like an assessor something something anyway i just couldn't imagine her like girl i mean <sighs> You know, the average dude that she would qualify for, they not, girl, they is not about to go out their way and treat you. Like, you know, really be on some manly shit. They gonna be like, oh, girl, come on over here and give me some, um, <laughs> give me some something. She, this bitch talking about she getting hundreds of dollars. I don't know what she talking about. <laughs> I'm going to just keep reading. Okay. And her first love from California. Oh, God. The man from her recent Texas visit. <laughs> what she said about her tacos and got her whole t- <laughs> <laughs> He bought her tacos. Yo. Lord have mercy. And got her a hotel. He got y'all a hotel, maybe a motel. And we ain't gonna say in the child. A hotel is a little too high and mighty for you. <laughs> he got you a uh uh girl, y'all stayed in the motel six. Did the do and then he girl he probably left a ten dollar bill on the uh nice <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine any respectable man talking about? I mean, I know most women think men are dogs, but all men are dogs. But girl, I, I know plenty of respectable dudes, and I, you know, listen, I'm a fat girl now too. So I, I used to, I was thin most of my adult life well yeah i was thin most of my adult life but <laughs> the past 10 years i gained weight bitch those men do not gir- no Mm-mm. anyway didn't she disappear with a man and gerard had to follow mr report mr person's report <laughs> oh my god Okay, this person, she sure, sure did that happen before they got married. Then there was a guy, <laughs> well, she got the STD in her throat, and the guy she was seeing while she was working at AutoZone. Oh, my God, y'all killing me. Child, she has some mileage on that kitty, <laughs> on that pocketbook. <laughs> that she ate while, oh, wait. Wait, What? They said not even a Cornish hen, but I was talking about Brandon. And then they said that she ate while he was in the shower. And don't forget Casper. Her story not hers. What? Is that a pair of balls? What? <laughs> oh, Papa, it looks nothing like that. Hold on. Y'all is... <laughs> what? He's talking about this right here. <laughs> oh my god so they said the social live streaming platform Beagle Live has been removed from the app store what oh I was just about to say is she has she been on Beagle I read this but I didn't wasn't really paying attention I read it it's so 
It's crazy because I read it, but I didn't read it. <laughs> what happened? Bego has been removed from the App Store globally as of April 9th. There's been no response from Bego regarding the matter. What? The application remains available for download on Google Play. There is This is not the first time that Bego Live has been removed from an App Store. He said, what is Liv going Liv to gonna do now? So how is Liv going to make her money now? Oh, so that's why I live trying to get people to subscribe to her Instagram, blah, blah, blah. Ciao. Oh. I was just think, wondering, like, what the hell happened to the Beagle? Y'all think she's selling it? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Um, She's giving 40 to $60 if they don't skirt off after arrival. The fact that her subscribers tried to sit up and tell her this girl... Not to bust it down for any man. Wait, teach her about soul ties is crazy. She literally was sleeping with other men during her marriage. The girl had no morals and damn sure still don't have none. They need to save that for the wall. She don't give a damn because she shows Stella. She knows Stella Raquel will always be there to help her. They have both crippled her as far as being an adult. She is still a baby in her eyes for kids later. What could her plan be for housing at this point? Oh. Also, it's the older family friend of Gerard's daddy. What? Are we going to talk about how she keep Loki off her ass to Gerard's underage nephews or nah? <laughs> Yay, yeah, brought her a chicken, rotisserie chicken. Guess he got pissed off. Wait, what? He got pissed because she ate the entire chicken by herself. Y'all is lying. <laughs> She's live now calling the girls that we had it again. <laughs> oh, friend, Liz said, you have words and she can fuck Hakeem. Liv is living under those sockets and baseboards and has nothing to lose. It was her scrolling her phone, telling the chat things like, things will start when the baby stops crying because our people are making him a bottle. Not Yanni exposing Liv wearing the same pink panties for two days. <laughs> How? How do you know that? This loser says she doesn't want to work out because she's afraid to lose her to lose her cottage cheese ass. What? Imagine sleep Purposely stay unhealthy and morbidly obese so that you can maintain the dusty milk games. <laughs> Y'all are lying. I know she did not say that's why. Yo, I done heard it all. Like, you really talking about you ain't gonna lose weight so you... Girl. And it's not like it's... It ain't like you got a shape. Girl. It's a bunch of blubber. What? Yanny and friends for us. <laughs> um. Oh my gosh, this is me. I swear she's just big. That's why her wide back ass thinks she got a big butt. She swears she's dragging that wagon, baby. No, that ass is white. If. <laughs> right, it's not like it's even tight and got a curve to it. It's just, girl, you look like SpongeBob, okay? <laughs> yeah, recent life, she looks so worn down by the life she manifested. And why does she keep flipping that damn wig? I bet she ain't even washed her ass and brushed her teeth. <laughs> he barely went free. <laughs> I like Fred. I didn't mean to read that. Y'all better stop. <laughs> Um, um, what was I gonna say? I forgot what I was gonna say. Facts if you can't rock a 28 inch wig nor have expensive perfumes, girl, how you rocking a jail? What a jail B, paying child support, rocking your own place, losing weight, and getting education. <laughs> Who posts somebody posted this? Is this lip post? I got the girlies mad. Big mad today. 
ugly something. Ugly motherless pineapple head. Wow. <laughs> I don't know who that is. Did Olivia repost that or something? Like, what in the world? Is this on Instagram or something? Come on. What is this? Girl, let me tell you. He would have kept lying if he didn't find out. Olivia, girl, sit down. What is she talking about? Um, wait a minute. Where did it go? Get out of here. Sorry, y'all. Okay. Yanni then brought out the mattress on the floor. Liv just go, go on ahead and delete your channel. Is that what Yanni was doing in that one live? I had missed it because I went out. Um, She is a basic bottom of the barrel gutter snipe. And the little dummies that follow her really gas her up. It's okay for Stella to help with AJ. But Nisha, Nisha helps with the three other kids. And she's considered a maid. Look, I know. I'm, in response to Liv having a, a big butt. Look, I know big girls are behind and live in one of them. There's nothing wrong about that mess. And her booty lumpy as hell. <laughs> it looked like oatmeal. <laughs> that battle between Yanni and Liv is amusing. While Yanni can annoy me sometimes... I do agree where her sentiment live. Needs to just leave her alone. For the most part, Yanni isn't really on YouTube that much. She's outside doing whatever she's doing. Come on YouTube mostly when something major happens or makes her little monthly quota. I think Tuna obsessed about Yanni because she hates the dark skinned girl that claw her effortlessly. Someone she deems ugly. And two, she knows Yanni is getting intel on her. Exactly, getting intel on her from Gerard's family. She knows Yanni can blow up her spot at any time. Shit, if that's the case, I would be so quiet. You, I mean, I'll talk my shit, but I damn sure wouldn't be, you know, throwing shots at Yanni because, hell. Yanni, Yanni know where the bones is buried. And I've heard Yanni say plenty of times. That is shit that she probably would never say just because cause she know Olivia knows and she know or just you know because um you know her source or whatever it would you know pretty much reveal her source and everything I guess I suppose that's what I'm imagining but if Yanni wanted to really destroy her she could and, 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 I wish she would. <laughs> I said, I know folks get on for and Yanni, but all the other Kylan and stuff, these reactors do us nothing. Um, let's get Yanni put on. I'm going to have to go watch it now. Y'all got me curious. Let's get Yanni put on last night. It was hilarious. Tuna, just leave her alone. She going to clown you every time. Yanni do it like nobody. Yanni, to me, for me, Yanni and Fran, I love most of the reactors, but, well, I got, like, let me see. I really only watch about, I really only watch faithfully, like, Fran and Yanni and, like, 50% of TMR. <laughs> Um, but I'm just saying, and, and, and everybody got their different styles, so it's not, you know, it's not that anyone necessarily doing it any better or anything like that, but I will, you know, I think the consensus, um, is that Fran and Yanni gets her all the way together, and, um... Yanni tickles me because she ruffles big worms, fat ass. She cannot stand that a dark skinned woman dragging her. 
She doesn't have to say smoke for friend if you haven't noticed. She threw a little shot at friend the other day talking about acne. She threw a little shot. And this is what I was thinking to myself the other uh the other day too. Friend got her own house with her own men, own car, her own real designer. Friend eats her up good when she talks about that fake shit two and a half. She can't compare. And see that's the thing, you know, between Olivia and Jasmine talking about somebody wanna be in their shoes and, 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 and be them or they're jealous, all that dumb shit. Girl, bye. Who wants to be a single mom, a single divorced mom of three kids and one baby daddy that you embarrass of? Who wants that? When people can go on trips with their families or by themselves, they have full custody of their children. They're married happily or in a loving relationship, okay? And that's in spite of the acne, the the dentures, the 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 um nappy weave. In spite of all of that, the people can still do what they do. <laughs> I mean, I got, I got, um, you know, uh, 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 I got a gap in my teeth. I mean, shit, bitch, everybody got something that either they self-conscious about or it's something you could talk about. Everybody got something, but nevertheless, bitch, you know, I have one child um, well, I have two, but technically one adult and one teenager that I go spend, I spend $200, $300 on a Friday night just at Dave and Buster's. Two weekends in a row. Well, it was the second, um, we skipped a weekend, so I'm just saying, bitch. And he get any and everything that he want for the most part. He got all his needs met and most of his wants. Thank you, Jesus. Um, And I get up and I work. I go to work. He goes to school. Come home, cook dinner. You know, relax and chill. Ain't nobody tripping off of your lifestyle, girl. Bye. I have peace in my home. Peace in my heart. Peace in my mind. Girl, I ain't worried about robbing Peter to pay Paul. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm just saying. She lost me when she said she would date a nasty. Okay, I'm skipping that. So he back to playing football already? Or, well, I don't know how that works with the sport, especially down south. This ain't him, is it? That's not Christian. He a cute little guy. That ain't Christian, huh? That's a cute little guy and little mama. They got their black and silver. That's a cute color. Um, Olivia doesn't realize how smart her kids are. There have been two concerts in our lives, Alicia Gerard, a liar, stop trying to start shit, don't no man worthwhile, I want your stink ass until you deal with your art issues and educate your mind, like attracts like, that's what you find yourself with, these men ain't about nothing and it will remain that way because of who you are, learn from your ex, he leveled up because he changed himself for the better. Learn from Gerard. Oh, yeah, I read that earlier. What does this even mean? He would have kept lying if you didn't find out. So, that was supposed to be a shot at Gerard? Learn from Gerard. How even Zolo cleaned up his act, leveled up with Miss Donna. He would have kept lying. Girl, this bitch's daughter is making her 
cheerleading debut and Sir Isaac fat ass Liv is thinking about how Gerard lied to Nisha about her 89 years ago he was lying to and was lying to what and mad about a whole baby and drive through engagement go Ryan party but instead a shot at Gerard and he on the field with their children She's going to lose parts, her part in the custody agreement this summer. Watch. She's going to do and try something incredibly student, stupid. Getting two kids up for the practice during the summer. She won't do I don't know what that means. I think that's already happening. She blames not being able to speak to the children or on Gerard. But in reality, the children don't have time to hold up the phone and listen to her nonstop questioning and lies. Let's see how long. Oh, damn. This one, 40 minutes? Damn, this time flew by. Was Stella yelling in the back? to y'all eat protein today? I wouldn't want to talk to those two hillbillies either. Gerard said in a live last year. Man, they don't even want to talk to your ass. And then stopped himself. Let him know she ain't shit. But two cowards for a minute. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. I think her latest move might be it. I can't imagine a judge, ha judge having to modify the agreement again. She probably won't even go back to have it modified. Also, missing her weekends and holidays doesn't look good at all. Yeah, so what is that all about? That is, that's very interesting. I wonder what in the world is going to happen about that. Live live on Beagle trying to show her tuna can. <laughs> She's live on TikTok decorating her sister room. Now, I must say, I really do like this shortcut on Olivia. Regardless of how I feel about her personally. Which I really don't feel no ways, but you know what I'm saying. <laughs> I really do like this shortcut. I wish she has another of those two dollar tanks. Oh, I see she has another of those two dollar tanks from Walmart that she was so happy to have. Why? Cause they was on sale. Eh? I mean, there's nothing wrong with mentioning a you know a good little sale, I guess. But she always wearing something with her tatas out. Cause she can't stand not getting attention. Live begging for gifts and cash apps. What, what's up with all those four men looking men? I guess I spoke too soon when I said she don't be on here begging. <laughs> Did y'all see she was using a Medicaid insurance card for her kids to take the nails? To take her nails out the car. Simply said, said simply something insurance. Broke bitch acting like she don't get food stamps and Medicaid. What's this sign? Child, y'all know y'all be on the, on it. Okay, I mean on it. Oh, shit. Um. Let's go back up to 100. Alright, uh, let's see. She can't get a damn penny to save her life over there. So over on Bigo, I don't even how do you even I don't even know how you would make money like if they don't have cat I don't know how that those um gifts or whatever translate into dollars, but my god, it can't be much money. Now she said the card is oh don't start explaining again like you was every, like you was to everything y'all even was cracking your ass for. It. Um, so let's move in with these people. House, oh, shit, I'm sorry, y'all. Uh, hold on, so let's move in with these people, um, without going through her junk. She's tearing up envelopes, asking what's in the bags. She had touched since she packed. Since she packed her hospital bag for AJ. She basically tried to explain away the Tyler mattress she sleeps on. 
You know, I think I'm going to wrap this one up and finish it. There's only one more page, so I'm going to make this one. Get this one. Um, all right. I'll see y'all in the next video, part three. Um, tune in, okay? See you in the next video.